Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate when they ate it like we were evolved to do. In my last video I spoke about how important vitamin D is. I also spoke about lichen and how it has some of the most vitamin D out of any foods. Humans ate a lot more of this before on time and we don't so much today. Lichen is actually a type of fungus like mushrooms and it looks like a moss or algae and it's some of the most healthy things you can eat. Not all are edible though so you have to be careful and ask a professional if you're going to try and go out and forage it yourself. Um, in China it's pretty popular to fry or boil or pressure cook edible lichen. It can also be made into tea which is uh, how I drink it. We have other species that can be found in the northerly or tundra regions of the world called reindeer moss or reindeer lichen eaten by reindeer of course but humans in these areas ate it too and we might even go as far as to say that lichen is one of the only reasons that humans were able to survive the winter in these areas in this cold dark time when they were deprived of vitamin d there's something else called Iceland moss, which is no doubt one of the main reasons the Vikings were able to survive in Iceland after they settled, when, you know, not much other edible things were growing in the wild. There are other edible species found in different parts of the world, almost all of them in cool, dark places. You know, when the winter comes, it gets dark and cold. You can no longer get the vitamin D that you need from the sunlight. But lichen, among other things, uh, could be eaten in the winter to keep the immune system healthy and strong. Uh, it's just an example of how beautiful Mother Nature is. She takes certain things away at certain times a year, but then she gives things back so humans are able to thrive and evolve. I love lichen, but it's also uh, quite hard to find. Um, you can sometimes find the teas in the health food stores, um, but you, know, you can forge it too, but definitely ask a professional if you are deciding to do that. I'll maybe put a, a link to the tea that I use at least. It is some Iceland lichen and that is definitely something that our ancestors would have eaten.